Hello guys, my name is Desmond. Thanks for joining. So now we'll move to the next question. I hope you are able to clearly see on my screen. And again, I assume you're able to see uh, on the, uh, the whiteboard, on the diagram that I've drawn. So obviously, as I've indicated from the first question, I've actually redrawn this diagram so that you are able to see the diagram throughout the question because from time to time i'll be referring to that diagram so obviously uh, we've already done question 3.2 where we determined the equation of ac in the form of y is equals to mx plus c and obviously this question was allocated a uh, uh, two marks so you scored a mark for correct substitution and a mark for giving the final answer in that specified form. So now we move to question 3.3 and the question says, if the equation of AC is Y is equals to 2X minus 1, calculate the coordinates of T. Okay, so... That's the question that we'll be looking at uh, for this lesson. So, uh, it's question 3.3. .3. So, we are required to determine or calculate the coordinates of T. So, when you have a look at that diagram, you will realize that at point T, which is that point there, that's where segment A and C and line B and D intersect. So that means the X value at that point there and the Y value at that point there is the same for both of the lines or for both of the segments. So obviously that's where the two lines are equals. So, uh, that simply means you've got equation, let me just say, equation of a AC and BD are equal at point t okay so this is just to give you a hint so that you are able to understand a uh, where we are going so in short guys what you do is just to equate the graph of ac which you have calculated and again remember they've just indicated that if the equation of ac is y is equals to 2x minus 1 so that means that is the equation of AC. You just equate it to the equation of BD and solve for the unknown. So uh, to make it simple for everyone, remember guys, this is a grade 11 November uh, 2017 exam paper. So in terms of the steps, I try, I always try by all means to make it simple and not miss any step. And the reason behind that is so that I'm able to accommodate the grade 10s and the grade 12s. And obviously, these lessons are suitable for learners who are also upgrading their maths uh, subjects. It could be maths, it could be uh, physical sciences, geography, or life sciences, or any other uh, subject that, that we cover. I always make sure that I show all the necessary steps regardless of how less important they are to the question, but it's beneficial to all uh, when I indicate all the steps. So, let's see. Let's say the equation of AC, obviously we're given that equation, and of course from the previous question, you've indicated uh, the equation of AC. So, we are given the equation of AC as 2x minus 1. 
just before I continue with this question, remember guys, the next question now serves as a confirmation to the previous equation. So that means on the previous equation where they said determine the equation of AC, if you got y is equals to 2x minus 1, then it gives you a confirmation that um, you know your answer is correct. Otherwise, if you got a different answer, then you should try to redo that previous question because you are now being given the answer. They are assuming that if the equation of AC is y is equals to 2x minus 1, then calculate the coordinates of t so now what is the equation of b d so we are given the equation of b d which is 2y plus x it's equals to 18 so i just wrote it there i think i did that when i was interpreting a that given graph so now you need to write equation of bd in that standard form of y it's equals to a uh, obviously m x plus c so in short it's more like you are making y the subject of the formula reason to that it's so that you are easily able to equate the two equations and solve for x otherwise if you don't need to make y the subject of the formula you can still substitute that y there so that you are able to calculate <clears throat> um, for the value of x i think for the benefit of everyone let me do it in two ways so that you have a better understanding of what i'm talking about can you see guys the equation the equation of AC is y is equals to 2x minus 1. The equation of BD is equals to 2y plus x. It's equals to 18. The difference is that the equation of BD is not written in the standard form, but it still remains the equation of BD. So for you to write it in the standard form, it's optional because the moment you write it in the standard form, it means you've got a reason for doing that which is for you to be able to easily calculate. So now what I meant is you can say two into, so that means in place of y, you substitute that two x minus one. So that means you substitute it there, which is two x minus one close plus x, I mean plus yeah, plus x, you're going to equate it to 80 so let me just correct that portion and say plus x it's equals to 18 then you now solve for x so obviously that times that it's 4x2 times negative 1 it's minus 2 plus x it's equals to 18 so 4x plus x is 5x and then you've got minus 2, which is equals to 18. Then you move 2 to the other side. Then you have 5x, which is equals to, remember when you move it to the other side, it's now 20 because it's 18 plus um, 2, which is 20. So x is equals to, you divide by 5 so that it cancels what you did on the left. You also do on the right so that means your x is equals to 4 so 4 um, is 20 divided by 5 so the second option is to firstly make the y the subject of the formula so in short you'll be writing it in the standard form so that means you've got 2y remember this is now option a b so consider that as option a so 2y is equals to you take it to the left it's i mean to the right it's minus x plus 18. so you've got your y which is equals to a uh, 1 over 2 remember that negative 
x plus 18 can you see so you just divide it by 2 and remember you divide by 2 a uh, for every term so there i've just divided for that term you also need to divide for that term so that means it's 18 divided by 2 so i'm not sure if so so far we are still on the same page guys but um i assume at this stage no one is confused and we are all on the same page so let's see guys so in the simplest form you've got your y's it's equals to negative half x this is plus nine so what you do now that it's in standard form you can equate that and that so that means 2x minus 1 it's equals to negative half x plus 9 okay so now you can move um, that x to the right side and move the number to the i mean to the left and move the number to the right side so that means you'll have 2x plus um, half x it's equals to 9 obviously when you, you move it to the right it becomes positive 1 so what is 2 a plus a half so obviously it's a two and a half so two and a half it's five over two x which is equals to nine plus one it's equals to a ten so for you to see a if two plus a half is equals to five over two you can just punch in a calculator and save two plus one over two you should get five over two so now remember guys we've got a fraction there then we can just cross multiply remember this is over one so cross multiply you've got 5x which is equals to you cross multiply you've got 20 then you divide by 5 divided by 5 it cancels then your x it's equals to 4 so can you see you've got two ways in which you can solve that question so if you're good in maths before you even start you will know which one it's going to take a bit of you know time for you to, to get to the final answer so it seems like this is the shortest way of doing it as you can see that one it takes a bit longer and again you have to deal with some fractions there and there of which i know most of you guys you don't like dealing with the fractions so now that you've got the x value a uh, of t so now what it means is that at that point there the x value is 4 so for you to get the corresponding y value you can substitute that 4 or this 4 it's the same to one of these formulas then you should get a uh, the corresponding y value so i'll just use the first equation because it's the simplest then it's y is equals to 2 into it's 4 minus 1 which is equals to this times that it's 8 minus 1 8 minus 1 is equals to 7 then your final answer guys that's where you indicate that t it's the x value is 4 and the corresponding y value it's 7 so that means there it's 7 can you see how easy it was guys so now we get to that stage where we need to show you exactly where you score marks so obviously you score a mark for equating the two equations so that's why we give you a um, you know the a uh, the marks so a uh, the second mark you get it from so remember guys I'm, i just i just thought of this let me just do it this way so if you did it this way we're going to give you a mark there okay then your next mark comes from you being able to calculate for the value of x and then your last mark comes from you uh, giving the correct coordinates of t if you did it this way then we give you a mark for equating both of these equations we give you a mark 
for being able to calculate the x value and the last mark for the correct um, coordinates <clears throat> so that's how you solve this question i think it was clear and straightforward so now let's move to the next question which is 3.4 so um, in case if you've got any questions you can just comment on the comment section but i think it was straightforward thanks for joining my name is desmond and i'm out